Day two for the defense in the trial of police officer Jason Van Dyke. He is facing first degree murder charges in the shooting death of 17 year old Laquan McDonald. Today, Van Dyke's attorneys are hoping to show the jury a look at the shooting from the officer's eyes. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from the Layton Criminal Court building with more on this. Good morning, Mike. Hi, well, a highly placed source tells me that that animation is likely to take up much of the time in trial today, but we do know that at least two defense witnesses will likely be called to the stand. One has already been called to the stand. That, as an ex-gang member turned activist, made this public call ahead of this potentially explosive trial. I want everybody in the city of Chicago to put the guns down. All the gangs inside the city of Chicago, I am calling for a citywide peace treaty. We want the gangs to put the guns down and join our fight for social justice. William Calloway is concerned that an acquittal for Jason Van Dyke could lead to violence if the veteran cop seen here this morning walking into court with his wife is not convicted of murder. Calloway wants an uprising, but he wants it to be peaceful. Van Dyke is accused of shooting the 17-year-old ward of the state, Laquan McDonald, nearly four years ago. That killing was, of course, captured on a police dashboard camera video. When a judge ordered its release, there were protests in Chicago and across the country. But Van Dyke says he was just doing what he was trained to do when he opened fire six seconds after arriving on the scene. His partner earlier testified that the video doesn't show what he and Van Dyke saw. But Calloway says no animation is going to change his mind about what Jason Van Dyke did on the night of October 20th, 2014. The video shows enough for me and my community, and it shows enough that we the people of the state of Illinois feel that Jason Van Dyke is by far guilty of first-degree murder. We don't need to see any animation footage. Now, the first witness of the day was Laquan McDonald's former probation officer. She was only on the stand for a few minutes, but she did talk about a time back in 2013 when Laquan was ordered into custody by a judge. She said at that point he immediately became combative because he didn't want to be locked up and started fighting with the sheriff's deputies on scene that day. Reporting live outside the criminal courthouse, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Marissa. All right, Mike, thank you.